Hello, darlings. So we're about to do the readings. Join, 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 join. Let everybody know I'm about to do the readings. Hi, hi, hi. Hola, peoples. Hello, darlings. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've been waiting for you. It's been a while. I'm going to do all the signs, you guys. Hi, everybody. I love you guys. Hi. I look like shit. I don't care. Been working all day. Been working all day. Been working all night. Hi, guys. And I haven't had a chance to do my hair or nothing. Alrighty, you guys. It's been a while, so I feel like we need some messages here. So we're going to ask the spirit of love and light to join us for these readings. Protect me and my viewers from any negative energies that do not wish to see us advance and move forward. We are healing. We are moving forward. And we are bringing messages of hope and light and love. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. But really, I've been working very hard today, so it's not about... I said, I was like, oh, I should do my hair and get dressed. I was like, you know what? Let me just get on here. People need the messages, okay? So I got some beautiful messages for all of us. Um, I feel strong energy. Ooh, the energy I've been feeling today, you guys. Hmm, all right? We're going to get right to it. I'm not wasting any time here, okay? We're going to get right to it. I'm going to start with the um, signs right now. Yeah, I know. Everybody needs messages, man. I know. Trust me. If I wasn't so busy on the side doing everything I'm doing, I'd be on live a lot more and giving a lot more messages. But it gets busy. And, it, it, you know, it can get draining. So I have to sometimes pull back and, you know, have some fun myself and enjoy myself. So we got the Starseed Oracle deck for you guys as well. Um, One second here. I'm going to turn some light or, you know what? Let me just get another candle here. Okay. So we got the Starseed Oracle deck, you guys. I got the Akashic Records deck as well. So I don't know. I don't know if anybody um, knows what that is, but let's. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Why does everything always have to be away from me? Okay. All righty, all right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. We're going to start all the readings now. <sighs> so love and light surround us. Love and light heal us. Love and light. Protect me and my viewers from any negative energies. We only work with the love and life forces. And we thank all the energies for involving themselves. We're here for healing and transmission. We're going to seek guidance and answers from spirit of love and light. Our star seed family. Angelic realm. Universal energies. Whew. Why though? Why as soon as I got on live I started... I started getting heavy energy. Like, not in a bad way, a lot of energy. Okay. All right, guys. I'm starting with our... What, do, what should we start with first, guys? Uh, let me see here. Leo. Okay, Leo. You stepped in the plate first, okay? All right. Whew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys too. I miss you too. All right, we're going to do Leo. Ooh. All right, so in order, you're saying, in order, as Ascara, what's in order? Um, Because like, even though I do this, doesn't mean I know the order of the signs because I have no clue. So I would say, okay. Let's clear the energy and ground, please. Okay. Let's clear the energy and ground. All right. All right, Leos. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Okay. Now. Hi, Sadia. Sadie, what's up, baby? All right, guys. This is a Starseed Oracle, just so you guys know. They're beautiful. It's a Starseed deck. I'm using it. It's my first time. You guys know I'm a Starseed, so I had to get the Starseed Oracle. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Leos. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus here. You got number 35. 
your soul is asking you to ask for help because it's struggling to move past a life that needs to be healed. The emotions that are being drawn out are more intense than you can work through on your own. Ask your guides, the angels, or a healer for assistance in moving through this lifetime. You got the card of Starkeeper, okay? Leo, you got the card of Starkeeper, okay? So it says here, Cosmic Ancestor, see the light by staying grounded. Okay, Leo, it's very important for you to stay grounded right now. Inner Earth as well, you got Inner Earth here as well. You'll survive this. New, solu new, new solutions and beginnings, okay? All right, Leo, let me pull some cards here for the Leos, please. Guys, I just started, so Leo is the first sign, so let's get into this. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages do I have for the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Spirit guides, angels. Okay. All right, guys, just give me a moment to get like the energy and to listen to the messages that I have here. So, for you Leos, <clears throat> I don't know why my screen's going dark there. All right, Leos. Um, there's a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius here, obviously, that's you. And there's an Aquarius that somebody's dealing with here as well. Um, I do feel someone feels left out in a cold by a certain person. But as far as the spiritual connection here goes, you got the card of Starkeeper, Cosmic Ancestor, See the Light by Staying Grounded. So Leo, there's something right now that's making you feel like you're all over the place. Maybe you're like not able to find your ground, right? Find your footing. Um, you've been very, very patient with something, pouring all of your emotions into something here. Um, there's two choices that I see that you're having to make. There's... Um, could be a road that you need to travel. Maybe you're deciding if you should stay with the person or not. I do feel like somebody got left out in the cold here, though. Hold on. I'm a Virgo. I don't know why that's happening to the camera, but... Um, it feels like... Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius and you were giving all of your energy into them. But as far as for my starseed people and the people who want to know something out of this world... Um, you'll survive this new solutions and new beginnings. So, like I said, I do feel like somebody is here starting a new journey. I feel like somebody is going deep within here is trying to find out something about themselves that they never knew before. Maybe you're searching for a deeper meaning of life. Why is my phone? Oh, okay. I see why the candles, they make, they're making it hot, I think. Oh, okay. So... All right, Leo, hold on one second. Let me just see what else we got here. Yeah, okay. So now, like you guys know, I do the, the regular readings, like, you know, somebody left you, blah, 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 but I, I'm very deep with my readings, right? So here I got a very deep message for you, okay? Here's the thing. I do feel like you in the past were feeling like you got let, you got let, somebody left you behind. They didn't come with you or... They left your ass in behind. You feel left out in the cold. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I see here. I see an Aquarius, and I see a Pisces. Let me see something. For, let me tell you something also, though. What I see strongly here, when it comes to the cosmic reading, when it comes to the star seed, the out of this world reading, I'm gonna tell you right now. What I'm seeing is somebody who's making a choice between between two different worlds. Somebody who is deciding: Am I going to live the rest of my life? In this 3D world where I think that everything is just the way it's supposed to be, I do what everybody else tells me to do, or am I going to take the chance and actually do something that's different this time? Because your intuition has been on fire lately because the high priestess card comes out after the star. So that tells me that you've been guided for your intuition to get you somewhere different. You want to move forward. You want to get the fuck out of there. Like I feel somebody really needs to just escape and i feel strongly like this escape is so vital for your well-being at this present moment if you don't escape this 
internal, I'm going to say, internal battle that you're having, this internal going back and forth, and the candle is going like crazy right now. It's flickering up, down, left, and right, and it's like bugging out. And that's for a reason is that spiritually speaking, I'm going to tell you right now that you're going through a situation in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit where you're trying to realize at this time, I am either going to change the way I think, and you need to start celebrating more. You've been so serious, right? You've been so focused on work, so focused on where you're going to go, so focused on what's coming next. You're forgetting to actually enjoy life, all right? Um, I do feel somebody here is not happy in a situation, but they're, it's like I'm happy, but I'm like not happy. You understand what I'm saying? Like I'm happy where I'm at, but I'm kind of like pretending to be fully happy where I'm at. I know my heart is somewhere else, but I can't seem to like... You have to say something. It's like you're you're carrying this. Um, you're you're hiding this stuff, right? Okay, so um, you're hiding these true feelings that you're having inside of your heart, right? For maybe for a person, maybe you're having emotions for someone else. Maybe you're feeling something for someone else, and you're afraid to say something, right? But you need to understand something that if you don't search within you and really, really, really find that internal answer that's deep inside of you. It's never going to get answered for you. You have to seek and you shall find, okay? We have to seek the answers and they they will come to us, okay? You don't have to be some spiritual guru to know that the way you're happy in this life is by seeking. I mean, look at that card. Look at, just, can you just look at that card? Look at that card. Look at that beautiful card. Star Keeper. Your third eye, all of our third eyes are connected to something deeper that we will ever understand. The only way we're going to understand it is if we ask the questions. We have to ask, okay? We have to ask. I'm going to do Aries next. So Aries, Leo, and then Sag, and then we'll do Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, like we'll, and so on and so forth. So Aries is next. Leo. Understand that the value of life is not what you put out for people to see and how much they see you doing. It's has your value in yourself is has nothing to do with what people perceive it as. The value that you find within yourself is what's important. Okay? That's what's important. Hey Matt. Okay, we got Aries next and then Sag is after. Spirit of love and light, please leave the Leo energy, clearing and grounding, clearing and cleansing. We're moving on to the Aries energy. Please give me messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers, please. Any messages that they're looking for? Anything that you have to say, I am your vessel and I'm here for that. Thank you so much. Only love and light. We are protected from negative energies. I have black salt here. I have a black candle lit. We're protected. We're guided. Nobody has to worry. Nobody has to fear, okay? Let's go on. Ready, Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All I did so far was Leo, and I'm on Aries now. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. I'll see you in the class tomorrow. I know it took a while, but it's going to be good tomorrow. Trust me. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh. Aries. All right, Aries. Be it the Aries, be it the Aries. We meet again and allow your emotions for the Aries, okay? So we got past life and past life energies are affecting your emotions. Allow yourself to feel the grief, anger, joy, pain, love, etc. Number 10. We meet again, number 12. Someone from your past has or is about to resurface in your life. Take notice. There's a lesson to be learned from this person. If you're in this room, I could be picking up your energy. So just remember, sometimes the signs mean nothing to spirit. Okay? Spirit does not see signs. They only use them because that's what we, that's what we go for. Okay? All right. Starseed Oracle. What is their starseed um, message, please? What is the starseed message for, for my guys over here? My Aries? What is the starseed? Oh, thank you. Give me one second. Let me turn that light on. I can't see.
Alrighty then. Alright. I painted my room all white. It's kind of a little bit like white, but it's like still, it's like really white, but I love those new blinds I bought though. Okay. Anyway, any who's there. Real quick peek into my bedroom. Okay. Star bathing. Mm. Did you see it? I mean, like, it's a little bit of a mess right now, but I got new blinds. I painted the room white, which feels so much better. I'm still putting stuff up right here. Over here, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff hung up. I got some new things that I'm putting up. So, yeah, so you know I'm working on that right now. But um, that's the first time you'll ever see my closet this neat. <laughs> like that. I'm going to show you because you ain't going to see it that neat again. <laughs> right? Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for the Aries, please. All right. So, Aries, we got we meet again. Okay? Because you guys are always going to meet somebody again, right? So, we got we meet again. Thank you. It's a little warm in here right now because I can't put the air conditioner on. But we got star bathing. Light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. Whoa. Okay, Aries. Activation. For those of you that are in here who have Aries in your chart, or you... Maybe? Okay. All right. Whoever is in here, whoever is watching this, Aries and Aries. I don't know if you've been feeling lately like um, some kind of downloads have been happening to you. Some kind of, hey, Lay, some kind of downloads have been happening to you. Some kind of messages from beyond are coming to you. Maybe you're having dreams, right? Something like this. There's there's um, a strong message here that, okay. All right, Aries, as well, you have number 10 here so allowing your emotions is going to be important right now also grounding everybody i'm going to tell you right now everyone everyone listen to me pay attention grounding is going to be very important for every single one of us if you're feeling like things are coming back to slap you in the face Things are coming back to stop what you got going on, your progress. This is for a reason. These, these planets that are in retrograde right now, what, Pluto's in retrograde, Mercury was in retrograde, Venus was in retrograde. These planets in retrograde are bringing back so many memories from the past. So many. I have been having so many past life dreams. It's crazy. I have seen myself in many past lives, and I'm going to tell you some of them ain't pretty. So if you feel like you've been seeing a lot of different things, right, from the past, things have been coming up from the past, people from the past have been coming up, you've been having dreams, listen, I've been even dreaming about where some of my family members are in this lifetime right now, where their energy is residing, and some of it, I'm going to tell you, waking up to that, it could, I, it could really hurt, like, you could wake up like, no, don't tell me my uncle's there, like, this can't be real, but, you know, and this is happening because the planets are so retrograde right now, they are going to bring up so many things from the past, you guys, and I want you to understand it's going to be okay, I understand, man, I get it. Listen to me, man. Listen to somebody here who every day is working on some type of spiritual enlightenment, awakening. I will tell you, it is not easy. When you search and you seek for the answers and you want guidance, it is going to be so hard because sometimes that guidance can be, what? What do you mean? Like you, I don't understand. Like you don't understand. Like I, Like I tell you right now, if you're looking to have a spiritual enlightenment awakening and you want to understand that we don't just live in this 3D, our bodies are nothing but a body, but our spirit is where we really live at. If you want that to be a part of your existence, it is not going to be easy. You will go through things. Aries, I'm on you and this is what I'm saying. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that you will go through things. 
You ain't gonna spend thousands of dollars, but I will tell you, get things all clear the energy, clear the energy. Lord have mercy. Ooh, the energy boy, right now. I tell you, right now, right now. Get your crystals, get your shit up. You know, you don't gotta spend thousands of dollars. Like I got a Tibetan bowl with black salt in it, okay? I, I don't play when it comes to like the good energy move or moving negative because I'm gonna tell you right now, as much as you're focused on the positive energy, there is always dark for forces around. And let me tell you something, you could either work with the dark forces or you could just work against them and feel like they're always attacking you or you could just be grateful for all the energies. And guess what? If you start to do that and you start to stop seeing things as so negative all the time, it's your perspective, your perspective. I want to show you something that's very vital here, okay? Okay? I'm going to show you something that's real fucking vital here, okay? You want to you wanna learn things about life? You want to get to know about life? Look at this card. I'm going to tell you why I love cards, why, they, why, why I love getting them. Look at this card. Look at that. What does that say? Look at the moon. Look at the um the earth and how far it is, right? And that's that's it's all black, a black void and a small earth. And look what it says: perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. It is all about the way you see it. It's the way you see it. If you see something as bad, it is bad. Okay. So what messages do we have for Aries? Um, yeah, those were all messages for Aries. Now let's pull a couple of cards for Aries. Yeah. Here's what's interesting. Here's what's interesting. I just said it's your perspective, but I do feel like for a lot of you here that you're dealing with some kind of energy as that that's not trustworthy here, okay? And it keeps you, this is past energy, right? Current past, recent past. It keeps you feeling wounded. You keep feeling this, it's not going to change. It's not going to get better. It's never going to change. I don't deserve happiness. I don't know what's wrong with me. Blah, 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 blah. Stop that. Stop it right now. It's not you, it's them. And then in some cases, it's not them, it's you. Baby, it's your perspective, boo. It's your perspective. Don't think everybody's your karma. I mean, you're, everybody's your karma. Sometimes you're their karma too, okay? All right, so we got Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Somebody might have been dealing with in the past here, a Leo or a Sagittarius. Somebody who kept you stuck in this relationship, in this position, in this time. I feel enlightenment coming in for those of you who are more concerned about the enlightenment um, aspect of these readings. There is enlightenment coming in for you, okay? You have enlightenment here, okay? This could be seen from somebody as like, I'm stuck, I feel stuck. Yeah, some people it is that for, but for me, I like to see it on a positive note, and that is in a enlightenment period. So maybe you're feeling like you're finally seeing the light. You're finally waking up to, hey... I don't like things like that no more. I'm going to change this and I'm going to change that. And you're going to end it and begin it. Brand new beginnings. A brand new beginning, right? You know, as I do, we all go through people that hurt us so badly that it carries on to our next relationships. But here I am stopping you, telling you, mm -mm, no, baby, we're not going to do that. What we're not going to do is allow people that hurt us from the past to hurt us again, okay? Aquarius energy here, there is a guidance that you have around you, okay? So looking for that guidance and asking for it because you are moving forward in a quick, speedy manner here. You need to allow your emotions, Aries. And also, if you do have a person that you end up meeting them again, we meet again. I would suggest if you see that this person is no good for you and they're bringing back some emotional energy from the past that you don't like, don't let them come back. It's that simple. Okay, I know it's hard, easier said than done, Flo, but I love him, but I love her. I just one more chance, one more try, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead, try them. Try, try them, let them get one more chance, one more try. And when they do the same thing to you over and over again, no card, no nothing is going to change that. Only you can, boo-boo. Only you can, okay? We're going to do Sagittarius next, and then we're going to move on to Cancer. 
Sagittarius, and then Cancer is next. All right, Sagittarius. Those are some strong messages for Aries. You know, sometimes I always say I don't need the cards to get the messages because I'll just, it'll just start flowing out of me, right? Just flowing out of me, just flowing out of me. So let's get to the Sagittarius and Cancers next. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the North Node. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? One more shuffle, please. What messages do we have for Sag, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Pulling a Starseed Oracle for you guys. And a Past Life Regression Oracle card. I like to mix up the cards now because there's more messages. Okay, Sag, this too shall pass. Confront your emotions. I'm Look, look, look. Let me just real quick. I'm just going to tell you right now. I've been getting this confront your emotions, allow your emotions for a lot of signs lately. Yeah, so if somebody could just keep up, we're on Sag now. I did Leo, Aries, and now Sag, and I'm going to do Cancer, Scorpio, and then Pisces. I've um, been getting a lot of these, um, allow your emotions, confront your emotions, Sagittarius. This too shall pass. Confront your emotions, number 15 and number 13. You found, you found yourself in a troubled time in your life. Know that these are lessons to be learned from. Be open to personal growth. Number 13, you have emotions that have been held back for far too long. You have to confront these emotions so that you can heal and move forward. Weird, because a Sagittarius person will be more like... It's like they wear their heart on their sleeve, but then they like cover it when they feel like they have to be defensive towards someone. And... They don't really talk about their feelings. They tend to act like, like I'm strong and I got this. And so you have to confront your emotions right now. Okay. You got water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. And then this card came up for you as well. Which I love this card because you got the love, right? <clears throat> Hadarian energy, codependency, and boundaries. All right. So, there's a strong need for the Sagittarius right now to understand that whatever it is that you're going through at this present moment. Because I feel like you find yourself in a troubled time in life, right? So you got to know that these are lessons to be learned from. Be open to personal growth. And the emotions that you've been holding on to have been stifled for far too long. So you have to um, confront these emotions so that you can heal and move forward, right? Water your garden, nourishment, body care. This all ties in together. Boundaries, codependency. So, Sag, what I'm asking you is... Ask yourself, have you been taking care of yourself lately? Have you been drinking enough water? Have you been sleeping enough? Orgasming enough? Have you been having fun? Or has it all been all work and no play? This is the time for you to relax and take care of yourself. Set up boundaries and know that in order for you to be happy... You have to take care of yourself first. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. See? Okay. <clears throat> right. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay, boo boo. All right, boo. All right, Sag. So, not to say this is for everyone, but I will say for the majority of the Sagittarius, this is for the energy that I'm reading right now. We are experiencing some sort of like karmic type of bind where we're stuck inside of this energy and we're not able to get out of it. So yes, the world is a beautiful card because it could mean adventure moving forward. But um, when I see it come here like this, then with the Wheel of Fortune, I do see somebody's luck changing and moving forward, but I do see somebody is currently in the process of getting out of a karmic cycle, but then there's like some, I'm picking up somebody who's 
repeating cycles here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Right. All right. So, yeah. So, okay. So if you have been dealing with energies of people that you're with and they're kind of like the same thing over and over again, they're like immature. They don't fucking do shit for you. They don't take care of you. If this has been happening, then you're in a karmic cycle. But if you've been changing up the way you see things and the way you deal with relationships and the way you process things, you are now making the decision to go towards people that are loyal and being effective for you in this relationship that you, you're actually very deserving of. But see, it took you a while to realize that, huh, Saj, right? It took you a strong, strong minute to realize, to realize that you deserve that, right? How many times are you going to date the same person and get treated the same way and still be okay with it? Strong, strong message for somebody here. It's like, Flo, bitch, are you talking to me right now? Yep, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, all right? I'm fucking talking to you, all right? If, I'm, if you feel like I'm talking to you, then I'm talking to you. Stop allowing the same energies to come into your life treat you exactly the same way and then say <clears throat> why is nothing ever working out for me why can't i find somebody who's gonna treat me right oh i'm gonna tell you another thing too when you're getting lonely I, i'm hearing somebody here is texting old old loves like somebody here is texting people from from the the days that they're not supposed to be texting people from I'm going to tell you right now, just because you're not getting what you want right now, going back to those energies that you know ain't no good for you is not going to help you out. I am, I am Misha. I'm telling it. So if you find yourself lonely right now and you texting Joe from around the way or Michael from around the way or what, whatever the fuck from around the way, just because you're as horny or bored. Take some time to yourself, and I'm getting a big headache on my left side. Big, big headache on my left side. Strong message for somebody in here who gets lonely and texts people that they shouldn't be texting. Don't do it. Oh, wow, Mary. You see? Mm -mm. This is why you, you guys saw me back off social media for a little bit. It's important to take that time to yourself because let me tell you something. When we get lonely and we we can go back to our old ways. So I'm not perfect. And I will tell you, like, you can go back to the old ways easily and thankfully. Like, you know, I, I have my little fun and I come back home, back to reality, get back into my spiritual connection. I'm going to tell you right now. It's okay once in a while to like lose yourself in the music. You own it. Don't you ever let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss a chance to blow. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand something. You can go, but like don't bring yourself back to the things that are not serving you. Very important message for the Sagittarius, for anybody that's in here right now, okay? You have to, have to understand that we will go back to people that are, we're comfortable with. Let me tell you something. Most relationships are not together because they love each other. I'm going to tell you why they are together. You want to know why? They're comfortable. They're comfortable. So comfortable. So fucking comfortable that they ain't having sex no more. Conversations ended, bitch. One's in the living room, one's in the other room. Motherfuckers don't even see each other no more. It's like we live in the same house, but we're in different worlds type of thing. Katy Perry's song, Brick by Brick. I will suggest that you guys listen to that song. She says, uh, it feels like you're in China and I am in Peru whenever I'm laying next to you, right? So it's like you could be right next to somebody but where's the connection? Where is the connection? Where is that love? Where is that love? Danica, I love you, babe. Don't be mad at me because I couldn't come. My mom's still sick, by the way. I'm, I'm, I've been doing a lot of healing. I'm making her some soup with sage and stuff. She's getting a little better, but she's not feeling well at all still. She's been having vertigo. Very strange. 
symptoms. So I've been doing a lot of my healing on her. And between that, doing the readings, in between that, my daughter cooking for her, cleaning the house. It's a lot, but I'm doing it, okay? Learning to prioritize and organize, okay? Very important, okay? So we're going to start on... Um, let me see here. Okay. We're going to start on Cancer and then Scorpio and then Pisces, okay? Yes. Everybody send some beautiful prayers and energy to my mother. She's been not feeling well lately and I'm trying in between taking care of her and doing everything and, and then doing private readings. and It's a lot. It's a lot. And that's why I have to tell you as much as I can get on lives, I am going to because I really feel we need these messages right now, especially because I've been getting serious downloads ascension like crazy you guys sheesh past life stuff like i've been looking into people's past lives it's weird like i mean i'm going into a whole nother world here okay it's a whole nother world okay so when the cancer and the scorpio and the pisces let's try to get through these readings um i just had a lot of messages so let's get to cancer sun moon rising and venus okay we're gonna pull one star seed deck one past life regression deck. And so I, I wish I could look back at the comments, you guys, but I really want to focus on the reading. So I'm just going to get keep my eye on the prize here. Star seed deck for the cancers, please. What's what's what is our, our alien ancestors? Because we are all descendants of aliens, believe it or not. Yes, we all have alien DNA in our blood. Believe me when I tell you. I know. I know, because I'm with the Seven Sisters, the Pleiadians. That's my starseed family. They connect with me all the time in my dreams. I see little blonde hair, blue eyed, blue eyed babies in dreams, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I realize. Okay, so you got two cards they pulled off for you. Star Brothers. Horus energy. Ooh, Horus. You know Horus is, right? Protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. Surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy. Love, pleasure, joy. Make love to life. Okay. Hi, Alma. Make love to life, you guys. Can cancers. You're protected heavily here, okay? Look at that. Look at that beautiful card. You're protected here, okay? Look at that. Protection from your star seed angels, okay? Protect them from light beings, okay? Surrender to the sweetness, okay? Look at that. Surrender to the sweetness. Make love to life. Venus energy. Be playful. Get near water. And Cancer. We got the card of take your time, okay? Take your time. Take extra time with your decisions. It's important to move slowly through past life healing, relationship matters, and business decisions at this time. Number 20, take your time, Cancer. As I know, as, as I know, Cancers are very motivated people. They like to go, go, go. They like to get things done. They don't like to be in one place for too long at the same time. They get bored. So um, as I'm going to say to you when it says take your time, it's telling you that whatever decisions that you're going to make right now, wherever you're trying to go in life, they want you to take your time to enjoy life. You may be forgetting to enjoy life a little bit. Maybe you're um, so focused on what you have to do that you're forgetting to surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy here. Somebody's walking through the gates here. This could be with commitment. Um, I do see a commitment for some of you is happening here. Maybe you just met someone. Maybe you're you're thinking about commitment. This could be talking of a marriage here. Somebody who's already married. So let's see what that has to say about that. What's the four of wands? Show me the four of wands, please. Spirit of love and light. Thank you for your assistance. Wow. Okay. Ooh. All right. All right, Cancer. Wow. I feel a sense of love shifting and changing for someone here. I feel a brand new commitment walking through the gates of love. I feel someone is highly intuitive here. Someone knows 
that when they connect, they feel these answers that are inside of them and they come to them and they just know in Cancer, I feel this energy of like, <sighs> like I feel relaxed right now, right? So there's something here where you're needing to really connect. Wow, Cancer, you are moving towards something incredible here. If you felt like you were stuck, like you had some decision you couldn't make, using your meditation, meditative, intuitive states will really help you to push these forward to, to get these boundaries going. So you like put yourself in this little bubble where you thought that that was only possible. But I'm going to tell you also another thing is for the single people, for the people. Okay, thank you. For the single people. Taking your time and everything that you're doing, not hooking up with random people will really be beneficial to you right now. You really have to understand that you don't have to do that. For the people that just got in a relationship that just met somebody, I do see a commitment and something moving forward towards a good relationship here. It's like somebody is going to actually commit to you been waiting for that right and then for others of you who are single and looking to travel and you yeah, i do see you traveling you got the world in your hand and you're moving away from okay some of you might have just moved recently as well or you're moving i do feel strongly here that we have why does that keep happening to the phone I do feel strongly here that we have someone who's um, looking to, to get away from it all, just, just to just leave. There's a... Uh... Okay. So, again, for the take your time, Cancer. Ooh, okay, here we go. Spirit, spirit, spirit in the building. Okay. It's important right now for you to clear and ground some stuff. Like I do, I'm hearing like, I'm hearing like, a, a, it's, whoa, okay, wait. Okay, to complete, okay, I he, I'm hearing somebody wants to complete something and they want to do it quickly, but to take their time doing it, okay? There's something that somebody wants to, Go, 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 go. They want to do it, do it, do it, do it. But this is me telling you, spirit telling you to just woo -sa. take it easy, take it slow, don't rush, tame that inner wild beast within you because it is going to work out. But whoa, man, are you getting over some toxic shit here? Are you getting over some toxic shit or what? All right, Cancer. I see you moving forward here. I see a commitment for some of you. I see a business that somebody wants to start, but I'm telling you to take your time not to rush into it. There's a lot of different messages there, so let's move on to Cancer, uh, Scorpio and then Pisces. And then I'm going to cut the video and get, get back on here. <sighs> okay. Leaving the Cancer energy, please send me back to the... Scorpio energy, please, spirit of love and light. Let's get into the Scorpio energy. Hey, Keisha. I know we were supposed to do your reading today, but um, we did a lot of private readings today. So tomorrow, tomorrow is the classes for uh, my guidance classes where I guide people. So that's going to be nice. For those who want to sign up, it's still available. Okay, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, Scorpio. Wow. We got a card for I Remember here. Soul Plan. The Faded Life versus the... The destiny life. This is, oh my God, my hair. <laughs> I look crazy. Okay, who cares? Anyway, faded life versus the destiny life. And then we got the card for I'm sorry, Scorpio. I'm sorry. Defenselessness, right? Writing past wrongs, uprooting. 
Um, hello, Kisa. Hello. Writing past wrongs and uprooting, picking up and moving like to a new destination or just uprooting and uh, uprooting your situation from what it was to what it is. So plan the faded life versus destiny life. So your faded life versus destiny life. And they're asking you, what is it that you really want to do? Are you living the life that you really want? And the I'm sorry card here it tells me that there's something that you're really sorry about. There's something that you really, really, really wish you never did. You're so sorry for it. You really didn't want to do this. Like They're asking you to just say the sorries and uprooting, meaning you moved into a new space, a new energy. Do not bring or carry this energy into this new part of you okay this is time for you to let go of that and it's time to move forward okay this is your time this is your time don't don't bring what was then to now please don't do it okay please don't do it okay all right angelic healing here okay scorpio 31 the angels are stepping forward to help you heal your past they have messages that will help you become more aware of your soul's purpose on this earth be open to receiving information and healing hold up let me tell you something. Do you see what that says? Do you see that? Two different cards from two different oracle decks. Let me just show you this. Two different cards from two different oracle decks. Angelic healing and soul plan, faded life versus the destiny life. Okay? So you have two different lifestyles. You have two different lives that you're living here. So you got your 3D life where you're just doing things that you're supposed to, blah, blah, blah. And then you have your soul, what you're supposed to be really doing here. So I'm sorry card comes up for whatever it is that happened in the past. You are sorry for it and they get it. It's okay. You're sorry for it. Time to move forward. And whoever doesn't accept your apology, they got to have to work on that on their own. That's not on you. Okay. It's not on you. This is not on, on you. You have to understand that you have to heal and move forward. Okay? So I remember soul plan, the faded life versus destiny life. And I'm sorry, defensive, this defensive, defenses, uh, defenses list. This way. <laughs> Why can I say the word? Defenses. Defenselessness, defenselessness, <laughs> defenselessness, that's our hard word to say, right past wrongs uprooting, okay, so that means letting go of that stuff that you were so sorry about, you wish you never did, using your intuition to move towards to a new beginning here, because you have a strong intuitive inkling about you, and you know and I know, and we know that your wishes will come true regardless. So whatever you're seeing yourself doing here, your wishes are going to come true. You will have a blessing, a new beginning. Everything that you want is being brought your way, but they're asking you not to pour your emotions into the past. Do you see that? Pouring your emotions into, look at that. You're pouring your emotions into the future. You're pouring your emotions into the past in front of you, behind you. So what they want you to do is just focus on right now, okay? Some of you could have just moved. Some of you are thinking about moving, but some of you are moving away to calmer waters. And this is the time for you to understand. Carrying that old energy with you is not going to bring you anywhere. Let go of that old energy. Let it go. Clear it and cleanse. Clear, ground, and cleanse. This is the time for you to remove everything that no longer serves you and to move forward. If you started something fresh, you started brand new, it's for a reason. You're not holding on to that anymore. You're not holding on to these toxic energies no more. You're no longer going to be carrying these energies no more. I will tell you right now, strongly I feel that somebody has gotten out of this depressive state of mind and they are moving towards a new beginning. And it is time. It is time. It's about time. You deserve that happiness. Okay, we all make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. What are you going to do? Live in them for the rest of your life? You can't. Okay, you just can't. Okay, so we're going to move on to Pisces now. Then I'm, because I did, okay, I did Cancer Scorpio. Now I'm doing Pisces, so I'm going to cut this video off and then come back and start to do um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and then Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? All right, Pisces. Let's get to Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
Okay. <laughs> Amazing. I can't. I just love it. So Pisces. Ooh, okay. All paths. Pisces, all paths lead to home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Mm -hmm. So you're looking up there, you're looking over there, you're asking angels, you're asking everybody for answers, but you're forgetting to look in within because as a Pisces, Pisces, your, your intuition is so fire. Why are you not listening to yourself, Pisces? Why are you not Why are you not listening to yourself? Repeated themes. You have reoccurring lessons in your past. Examine these themes so that you can make the necessary changes to end the cycle, okay? All paths lead to home, Pisces. All paths lead to home. Activated earth, power places, lay lines. Trust where you're led, Pisces. Trust where you're led. Stop questioning. Stop questioning. Is this right? Is that going to work? I don't know. When your intuition is one of the strongest intuitions that I've ever come across with the Pisces, you guys are so emotionally balanced, yet emotionally all over the place. It's like so weird. The Pisces can either be so grounded or they could just be like blah, 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 all over the place, right? So it's just really, really crazy. That you need to look within here because it seems like you're like asking everybody and everything for their opinion, but you're not listening to yourself. And let me tell you something, your gift to this world is the fact that you can be so emotionally balanced and so focused on emotions. That is one of your main gifts that you have been gifted on this earth. So why not listen to yourself when you know the answers that you seek lie within you and yes, everybody around you will not be as woke as you. They will not have all the answers. And you will always be the one who mostly has the answers, who mostly knows, who does weird shit, like makes specialties and weird stuff like that and has crazy dreams. And these things happen to you and people are not going to understand you. And they're not going to understand you. Why? Because you're a star seed. You're not from this earth, baby. And when you're not from this earth and you talk to earthlings, they're looking at you like you have five heads. But it's okay. Let them be earthlings. Like you're not a fucking earthling. Like you have like star seed in you. And like really just, thank you. Thanks. And just understand that everybody's not going to be on your level, baby. And so, and if they're not, they're not, okay? I will tell you right now. I know. For some of you, I'm getting a very strong message here. Some of you have had like some real weird spiritual experiences that um, your family might be looking at you like you're crazy, but then things happen to them and they're like, whoa, wait a minute. Maybe you're right, right? So, mm -hmm. maybe you're right, right? They're going to say maybe you're right because for a little bit, your family's going to think you're crazy. You're losing your fucking mind. But no, 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 you're not. <laughs> you're not losing your mind, actually. You're gaining your mind and they're gain they're losing... They're, they're gaining, they're lucky too. They're lucky too because they have you in their life, right? I do see you getting over some conflict here. Um, spirit is gifting you with the gift to know that you're able to surpass heart, heartaches. When it comes to love and all that stuff, here we go. We have a Gemini here. Um, we have uh, Virgo, Taurus, the Capricorn. When it comes to love, there's somebody that you're connected with here, uh, whether they be a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or a Virgo, or a Taurus. Um, this person is is um like you're equaled like they're they kind of like understand you more than anybody else has and it's a beautiful relationship but i will tell you one thing right now um not carrying the past relationship hurts until this new relationship will be ben very beneficial to you so if you're experienced in a relationship there are some things where <sighs> some jealousy maybe is it jealousy no questioning there's questioning like you're questioning the habits you're questioning like mm, maybe some self-doubt here i don't know what it is the doubt what something here with doubt self like questioning like 
Maybe you're like checking their messages or some crazy shit like that. That needs to end right now, right now, because they don't like that, okay? So let's, let's really, really, really not do that, okay? All right. Wow. Decision here. Big decision, right? Is going towards a family here, and it's going to be a beautiful blessing for you. This is a beautiful, beautiful blessing, okay? This is beautiful. The repeated traumas. Yeah, I know, Layla. That's got to stop being repeated, okay? We got to stop carrying things from our past into this lifetime because I'm involuntarily being told to look at my past life, and I just said to Spirit, like, stop. Stop showing me my past life. No, nope, I'm good. Like, bitch, I don't want to. I saw myself in a fucking, like, like, in, this was like in the, um, what is it? Like, you know, those days, like the Salem witch hunt days, like that, what is that? The fucking medieval, medieval, no, it was medieval times. I saw myself in a fucking, like, wow, it was, it was, it was brutal. Yeah, it was traumatic to say the least. And I was there and it was like all these people were like in these cages they were stuffed in these cages and their faces like on the floor and I was like no I can't be here and I like ran out and I escaped because I was able to talk my way through it with the guard right so it's like almost like I didn't pay for my punishments back then so that's why I paid for all the punishments in this lifetime and I'm like bruh I don't want to see that please don't show me I got away with shit. What the fuck? It's not my fault. People are dumb. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's why I pay for shit because I'm stupid. But you know what I'm saying? It was medieval. Yeah, like that. It was like, I don't want, like some people are going to be shown things. It depends on what you want to see. You know, you ask for it. You're going to see. You don't ask for it. Sometimes you'll see it anyway. You might even see people that you love that passed on some things that, that is going to be like, what? Wait, what? Like, no. You know, like I... I don't know who it was that I saw. It was so traumatizing, you guys. I saw. So anyway, Pisces, just so you know, you're going to be standing in your power, and I want you to use your emotions in the right way. Don't be too emotional. and Don't be too all over the place. Please stable and ground yourself. I want you to clear ground and cleanse, and I want you to really ground, and that means that when you feel like you're ungrounded, like you're kind of like shaking, and you feel like you're having some weird symptoms, I want you to go outside, stand in the grass with no shoes on, and say, I'm grounded, I'm grounded, I'm grounded three times. Look up in the sky, look down and say you're grounded, you're connected to the universe, but you're also grounded at the same time, okay? All right, Pisces, so I'm going to stop this video now and move on to the next, but real quick, I just want to tell you guys I had a dream that I saw someone, which I believe was a family member. They were such in a bad place, you know, I can't, I just couldn't even walk through it. There was like mess, Ugh, it, it was bad. It was like traumatizing, I can't even... It's a lot. I'm really, really going through a lot of shadow work right now. You guys, it's it's weird when you go through spiritual ascension and awakenings. The fucking fuckery that you see is out of this world. Like, you have to be very strong in order to, to deal with a lot of this stuff, okay? All right, so I'm going to come back, hi, Gina. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, then Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check on my daughter. I'll be back in a few minutes, okay?